After a rather gloomy weekend here in the state line, sure thing, uh, sure looked a whole heck of a lot brighter in the state line today. Nice uh, amounts of sunshine. Now help to boost the temperatures a smidge. It's still right around normal for this time of year. One of the cooler days of the month, if you can believe that. That just kind of speaks to how mild it's been in the first uh, third or so of the month of December. Here's where we stand right now. Temperatures really haven't moved all that much. Upper 20s to lower 30s. Some modest wind chills out there, but nothing that we can't handle. Wind is picking up out of the southwest. That's reason number one why our temperatures have been so slow to drop off. Reason number two, we've got some cloudiness beginning to blanket uh, our airspace. Uh, we mentioned at five and six, it bears mentioning once again, uh, sunset today, 424, sunset tomorrow, 424, sunset Wednesday, 425. We'll add even another minute to that a week from today. Christmas Day, the sun sets at 430 and then 435 on New Year's Day, which happens to be three weeks from today. Yeah, not a big deal, but sometimes it's psychological. You know, it's an improvement knowing that it's staying lighter just a little bit later in the day. We're just turning little corners here or there. We mentioned the cloud cover here. It's not a complete overcast. There are plenty of breaks in the cloud cover, but there will be a fair amount of cloudiness with us here often on here or there for the next four or five hours. This is a cold front that's coming on through. No precipitation showing up on the radar, none in the forecast for the remainder of the overnight hours. So just kind of an in and out game here with the clouds. Temperatures down to 26 degrees, which believe it or not, is about five degrees above normal for this time of year. So hard to find really any meaningful complaints at all. Now tomorrow, a northwesterly wind will blow behind the front. So I do think that temperatures may take a small step in the backward direction. And by small step, I'm thinking a degree maybe two, but we'll have sunshine around from start to finish. Now we will cloud over once again tomorrow night. Warm front then lifts back uh, through the region. That shifts the winds back to the southwest for our Wednesday. And even though we start off the day with a little bit of cloud cover, or a good amount of cloud cover, the afternoon is to feature a mostly sunny sky. And again, southwesterly winds, meaning temperatures go back upward just a little bit. And that's going to be the beginning of a trend that will take us through the end of the work week. And a seasonable here tomorrow, and then we start to rise here on Wednesday. We go way above normal starting Thursday, and that's where we stay through the weekend. And all signs point to the warmth sticking around far beyond the weekend. In fact, this is the forecast that it takes you from uh, Sunday to next Thursday. Way above normal temperatures, way below normal in terms of precipitation. This is the forecast that starts next Monday, a week from today, takes us through two weeks from today, which is Christmas Day. Well above normal uh, temperatures, below normal precipitation. What does that mean? It means that our chances for a white Christmas will continue to go down by the day, I fear. We're now down to 7% with the chance. And really, as long as I don't see any changes in the forecast reasoning with the models, we're going to probably take down a, a percentage each day for the foreseeable future. There's still time for a miracle, but I think our time is running out if you want that white Christmas. Tomorrow, mid 30s, 36 degrees, then 39 for us on Wednesday, 47 on Thursday. And if we're able to even squeeze out a little sunshine on Friday, a 50 degree temperature is not out of the question. But, you know, to see this many 40s in the middle of December, that is not something we should be taking for granted. Oh. Yeah, you know, I'm okay with that, but I do wish we had more chance of the white Christmas. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a, lot gonna of lie. a lot of people feel that yeah. way. I'm, I'm one of those people who, yes, give me the snow on Christmas, mm -hmm. melt it the day after, and that's fine. Or New Year's. Yes, that's it's fine, too. Sure. Yes, there yes. you go. All right, thanks, Mark. <laughs> We're in agreement. Yes. <laughs> Coming up in sports, the Packers look to stay in the playoff picture as they hit the road for a crucial Monday night game against the Giants. But first, don't let all of the football action distract.